In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 21, how to use it against Mabel coverage, a lot of the meta defenses that you're going to be seeing, and uh, really what you can learn from the last probably month in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Then also if you want to be notified whenever we release a new video, uh, go ahead and turn on those notifications. That way you never miss one of the videos that we upload. Uh, if you need any help with that, just hit me up via text message or if you have any questions about Madden, you can always hit me up via text message my number is 208-218-6900 it's also in the description all right guys so we are breaking down a gun bunch play right here today uh, this is probably one of the most popular plays random gun bunch we're going to show you um really why it's so good and we're also going to show you some things you can do to make it even better now real quickly before you um you know before you say oh well this is just another meta play we're going to show you how to use it against match coverage as well right off the bat here to show you that it actually will still work against match coverage now before we dive too deep into this i did want to let you know that i just released a full new york jets offensive ebook on the gun bunch and the bunch tight end if you want to get that little combo guide that's 20 bucks it's in the description it covers both formations if you want to just get the gun bunch that's 15 dollars uh, and it's in the description or if you want to just get the bunch tight end that's 15 dollars it's in the description as well so all of the links for the ebooks are in the description for you if you want to go pick them up they're really really effective a lot of people have been having a lot of success uh, in weekend league specifically uh, with this gun bunch offensive scheme okay so what i wanted to talk to you today about is a nice way uh, to run this z spot so let me show you the way most people run z spot real quick so the way most people run z spot is they basically do this right here um, they do some version of this right here and the problem with that is let's say that they aud let's say the defense audibles to cover four quarters um and you're going to see here that this R1 receiver is going to get taken by that outside quarter and is going to almost be instant picked every single time. So what we're going to do is a very slight little adjustment, but it actually makes a big difference. We're going to put the R1 receiver on that uh, corner route. We're going to smart route him, of course. We're going to put the circle receiver, Tavon Austin, on an out route. We're going to put the square or the X receiver, Robert Tunyon, on a streak. And then on the back side, what I like to do is I like to take Valdez Scantling and put him on a wheel route. Uh, or I'm, I'm sorry. Put Valdez Scantling, the square receiver, on an in route. And then I'm going to take the running back, the triangle receiver, Jones, on a wheel route. This combination right here is actually very interesting because of the vertical hooks and the threats. You're going to have some different things that you can do on this back side. Um, one other setup that I do really like out of this, specifically out of the bunch, if I know they're in quarters, um, I'll take Vadas Scantling, the square receiver, and I'll put him on a little hitch uh, or a little smoke screen, and then I'll take the running back and put him on a smart run option route. So those are two different combinations that you can do uh, on the side. Another thing you could do is an out and a streak, something as simple as this right here. Uh, but anyways, we're going to show you this combo. So all we're going to do is we're going to motion the circle receiver to the right. And we're going to kind of let him set his feet here and basically just stand still. And what you're going to notice here is that little step right there is going to open the corner route up so much more. Okay. Now, you can snap him in motion uh, if you want to. The thing with snapping him in motion is it is a little bit of a tender motion snap so you have to get him out there kind of let right before he steps and then do that right there as you see he comes down and you're able to hit this read um, against the outside quarter the problem is if you snap that motion snap uh too soon and they're in that quarter coverage then what's going to happen is you're going to have a little bit of a problem so if i snap him like right here you're going to see that the, he he doesn't get out there and as you can see now that outside quarter is taking him and now we're, we're, we're bagged, right? We're, we're taken care of. So it's really important. And I almost lean to a little bit more of a conservative approach. And I would just motion him out and just let it be. Um, but if you, if you want to try to master that motion snap, you certainly can motion him. If you get him right before he sets, right there, you see that's really where we're looking at, at, at hitting him. Okay. And as you can see, the R1 receiver is open. So that's how you beat the match coverage uh, with this. I want to show you how to beat a couple of other things. So uh, the most popular defense that people are going to run with you against you is they're going to put their flats on five, curl flats on 25, and hook curls on five. And they're going to run that 
uh, Mike Blitz or the cover four, you know, some version of those two those two coverages. So let me show you how to beat that uh, using this play. It's actually really, really simple, and it's what makes this offense so powerful. So uh, if I can find the play Z spot here, uh, right there, okay. So again, now if I know that I'm facing um, zone coverage, again, it does change a little bit, especially um, it just changes depending on what you're facing. So first and foremost, let's go with that cover three Mabel uh, coverage right here, Mike Blitz three. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put the R1 on a smart route, circle on the out route, tight end's gonna go on the streak. And on the left side here, if I know that it's zone drops, okay, if I know that, then I'm gonna put the left of screen outside receiver um, on a smoke screen or an out route, it's up to you. And then I'm going to use that smart routed option route, okay? Uh, because it's going to get over every yellow zone if they're using zone drops. So I'm going to motion them out here. And what you're going to see is this R1 is just going to get open against against zone drops. As I got instant shedded in the backfield. So what that looks like for you guys is you just want to wait for the R1 to clear the zone, okay? And he will almost always clear pretty much any zone. These are 25 yard curl flats. This is kind of the meta that a lot of people are using. Um, and really the only way they can stop this is by running 30 yard cloud flats. But as you'll see right here, he's gonna clear the zone and uh, Holman actually got back on that a little bit better. Normally you can basically just pass lead that up and he'll get open. If they fall back on him too much, then just check it back to the backside. Um, that normally means something on the backside is wide open, but like the running back would be wide open on this play. But I do want to show you this R1 route. So again, motion him out. You just wait, 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 wait. And there you see that's what we're looking at right there. Nice little dot on the sideline. You click on and make a secure catch. Now on the back side here, this is what I'm kind of getting at with the uh, with the Mabeling, you know, with the with the Mabel coverage and stuff like that. So let's say they use, you know, let's say you put the smoke screen up there, you put your smart routed option route up there. And now you have a really good combination because if they drop a yellow zone and it's at five yards, it's not going to get back there. So it's just going to sit right in this little nice little vulnerable spot of the defense and you're going to be able to absolutely dot them up. Now, let's say they aren't using zone drops. Okay, let's say they're not using zone drops uh, and they drop. Let me go to let me reset the play and then let me audible to Mike Blitz three here. And just let me show you here now if you're in the same combination and they're not using uh zone drops it will defend it a little bit better but your right side will be wide open at this point so same combination here but if you watch you see they really don't get back there too well and you can either high point it or you can obviously check down to your backside uh backside route right there so Overall, this is one of the best plays in the game. Now, if you wanted to, another little com concept that you could do um, is you could take the square receiver and put him on a drag, and you could block the running back. That's why a lot of people will also do this. Uh, and the reason why is they'll attach a playmaker receiver. Like if you're in mutt, you could put playmaker on that left side solo receiver uh, and, and basically playmaker him back and forth depending on what you want to do. It does offer you a nice little check down read. I actually personally think playmaker works a little bit better if you run a dig. Uh, or a little in route, you're still gonna get the playmaker option, but um, now it comes from that little nice little natural dig uh, as opposed to the in, and then if the streaks are ever open, you can always hit the tight end up the middle. So if you wanna get the full offensive scheme, that is available for you in the description. Thanks for watching this video. Again, it's just $15, and in my opinion, it is truly the best combination of several different offenses, but the gun bunch, it always comes back to is the best offense every single year, and so we told show you exactly how to run it, not just for this year, but for every year going forward. The bunch is a very simple and easy to use offense if you master the progressions, and that's what we try to teach you how to do in the ebook. So if you want to get the full gun bunch ebook, it's available in the description. Thanks for your time. And if you have any questions, you can always hit me up via text message. My number is 208-218-6900.